guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is november 20 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title this is not good news you have multiple shoppers inside a walmart store has been s h o t yikes uh this is happening in uh beaver creek ohio so walmart is on lockdown um man all right we have uh multiple videos we have a lot of information coming out uh please pray for those who were impacted uh we're gonna see what's going on here now it says give me a second so it says a gun man and i'm not saying the name here guys just follow me on this one gun man opens you know what on shoppers inside a walmart multiple have been impacted currently multiple law enforcement and emergency crews are on the scene after male suspect with a oh man um enter inside walmart store in beaver creek ohio and began <sighs> you guys know the rest so you have the law enforcement reports indicate that three have been s-h-o-t and there may be more the suspect has been oh wow wow so they already so they already got him, um, the suspect. So he has been K-I-L-L-E-D. Authorities urge the public to avoid the vicinity. Wow. Um, okay, we have uh, more information, updates. Was alerts, you just put out this information here. Give me a second, let me just... Uh, here is an eyewitness account of the event at the Beaver Creek, uh, Ohio Walmart. At least four have been SHOT and transported to a nearby HOSP. Now, once again, the, uh, the suspect has been out. I'm not going to play the video because this platform is really strict. I'm going to share this on Twitter, okay? Uh, my Twitter link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check out this video. It's two minutes long. I haven't watched the video. But uh, this is an eyewitness right here. Um, I, again, I truly apologize, guys. I've been getting hit really hard on this platform. All right, I'm trying to be very careful. I'm not trying to get hit again by the platform. All right, so we got this information. Please share the video. So once again, this happened in Beaver Creek, Walmart. Oh, all right. So it says here... So you have the blue called, were called Monday night to uh, the event with uh, multiple impacted in Beaver Creek, Walmart. Now Beaver Creek uh, Police Department confirmed they responded to an active, you know what, at 3360 Pentagon Boulevard. Man. Um, but said later Monday night on social media that the store has been cleared and secured with no active blank at this time. Oh, man. So there were at least three GUN shots, according to reports. Uh, a, care, uh, a care flight to medical helicopter took flight around 9.50 p.m. from uh, Miami Valley Hosp. The Green County... Uh, uh, I'm just going to skip certain names here, guys. So law enforcement from multiple jurisdictions in Green, uh, Montgomery, and uh, Clark counties responded to the store where the blue could be seen inside of the grocery side. One eyewitness, and that's the video that I, I just... Uh, Told you guys you want to watch this on Twitter. So one eyewitness uh, outside the store said that the person had a backpack and was holding. Guys, this is like the third story so far. All right. Uh, all of them have backpacks. 
There's something definitely. Um, look, guys, I do believe that as we are closer and closer uh, witnessing the end of ages, because we are in the end times, but we're not in the end of ages yet. That's the final step. But uh, we are witnessing the minds of many that has been, uh, has been given up to a reprobate mind. Many are not seeing the truth anymore. Everybody just becoming fools. Uh, Romans chapter 1, Paul speak about God is giving up people to sin. God is giving up a lot of people saying, that's it. You're no longer my children. God is giving, up the, uh, giving them up to a reprobate mind. Why? Because God knows that their hearts will not change. They will not repent. They will no longer see the truth. So one uh, witness uh, outside, okay, I read that part. An employee reported hearing at least two S-H-O-T-S, but did not see anyone, it. So I thought it was glass at first. I heard a couple of people running and screaming, so I darted out and we got to the Burger King parking lot. One witness uh, said that the person had a backpack and was holding something very powerful and that he walked by her before he, oh, man, just imagine you just walking past by the person as she said in a video posted. Uh, okay, so uh, okay, so that's the video. That's the video. Is this one right here, guys? This is the video right here. So basically, she uh, she's the one that's, uh, I guess she's saying, man, I passed by that dude, and wow, I didn't know he was going to do that. Man. One witness uh, said that the person had a backpack, and that uh, he walked by her before he opened F-I-R-E. She said in a video posted on X, formerly Twitter, that was uh, recorded outside the store. Beaver Creek police said they are investigating and will release info once it is available. Wright State uh, University alerted students and staff to stay away from the Beaver Creek Walmart for an active event. Once again, here's some more information here. Now it says Beaver Creek Walmart is the same store where 22 year old, I'm gonna skip that person's name, of Fairfield was S H O T and taken out August 5th, 2014 by a blue uh, while holding a G U N for sale in the store. All right, so does have some history on this one here. Let me go back on Twitter really quick and see if we can find more information. Let me just refresh this page really quick. So it was like an hour ago. Uh, they did had a, I got to download the scanner app um a scanner radio uh it says that the person incident at beaver creek walmart itf teams operating suspect reported down by pd at least four transported all right so once again guys very important to have this app uh it would give you an idea of what's going on during that situation and um uh, scanner radio dot app is absolutely free i believe so uh yeah i believe it's free all right so again guys if you want to check out this video like i said it's going to be on my twitter account so uh so uh, when you click on the link to my twitter it would take you to this page that's my twitter account all right so i just shared it if you guys want to check out this uh video but i can't play the video guys because again i'm getting hit really hard on this platform I'm just a, a watchman, a believer of Christ.
giving you the information that's all and uh i'm getting hit really hard by the platform so give me a second here let me just see if there's any more info and i try my very best with the co uh, code words i know a lot of people's like can you say the words i can't guys i can't say the words i got suspended multiple times i try to be careful here Oh, by the way, I, I just finished a Patreon live stream. The link to the Patreon will be in the community tabs on my Twitter. So if you guys want to check out the Patreon live stream that I did, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is click on it. It will take you there. You can also check out the description box for the, uh, for the Patreon. All right. So this is all the information. Uh, give me a second here. This um, updates 12 minutes ago. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just want to see if there's any information here. All right, so we, so we already know all this. Uh, it happened around 9.50 p.m. So we already know that. There's no active blank at this time. So they already took him down. So in 2014, we already know this. So it's all the same story. All right, guys, so this is the big breaking news. Uh, please pray for many, many that were impacted. I mean, just imagine you go into Walmart and then all of a sudden. Just be aware. This is why 7-Eleven, the 7-Eleven that I go to, uh, they have a big sign in front of their door. I, I think it's all 7-Eleven now. They are, they are telling customers, do not come in with any backpack. Leave your stuff. In the car again, theft and robbing and all that. But uh, if you see anybody with a black, you know, dressed black with a black backpack, uh, you may want to be aware of your surrounding because that's like the third story that I just uh, made. Um, almost all of them has a black backpack, a uh, black backpack, and dress in black. So just be aware. And, and um, large gathering, try to avoid that. Try to avoid it. I mean, that's why I tell everyone, uh, you don't want to be in a spot where there's a whole bunch of people. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. Uh, once again, suspect down and all that type of stuff. Um, it seems like Walmart right now, I think Walmart got to be closed. Uh, they do close at 10 o'clock but uh, or 11 o'clock. But again, uh, situation happened in Walmart. Once again, in Beaver Creek, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.